Here is a quick summary of the hypotheses regarding the formation of our moon. First, let's take a look at the evidence. The moon orbits the Earth. This is not an oddity by itself, as many other planets have moons orbiting them. Our moon is a large moon, and the only large moon for a terrestrial planet. In fact, our moon is the largest moon relative to its planet. Our moon's orbit does not align with our planet's equator. In fact, it is much closer to the plane of the solar system than to the equator of our planet. This is considered odd as most large moons, with very few exceptions, align with the equator of their planet. There are also compositional differences. Our planet is the densest planet in the solar system due to a very large iron core. Our moon, in comparison, has a density closer to that of our crust or mantle. The Earth and the Moon orbit the Sun as a single system. Hence, we must account for their common origins. The first hypothesis is co-formation. This is similar to what we think happened for most of the giant planets in the outer solar system. The planet formed, but around it there was still some debris from which its moon formed. This fails the evidence because this would result in a moon orbiting our equator. The second hypothesis is capture. According to this explanation, the moon formed in a similar orbit to that of Earth, but then came near 
slowed down and started orbiting us. This would explain a moon orbiting near the ecliptic plane, but offers no explanation why the body would slow down at all, nor would it explain the compositional differences. The next hypothesis is spinning out. By this explanation, there was one proto-Earth formed, then it started spinning faster, and its outer layers separated and formed the moon. This would explain why the moon's composition would be similar to that of our mantle, but again, it would result in a moon orbiting near Earth's equator. This hypothesis also provides no explanation as to why the Earth would spin up in the first place. In the giant impact hypothesis, there was another body formed elsewhere in orbit around the Sun that did get close to the Earth. In fact, so close that it impacted the Earth at an angle. The impact disintegrated the body and the remnants then accreted to be our moon. This would explain both the compositional makeup of the moon, it being close to the density of our mantle, as well as the fact that its orbit is close to the ecliptic plane rather than our equator.